Hello, this is Andreas83 and today I want to do a movie review of Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. So I, I watched it now today and I've written some notes, start with some positives. If you're a fan of something you should actually try to enjoy it. There will be spoilers. You start with the good, then end with the bad. So let's begin. The first positive, it looked like Resident Evil, uh, the mansion looked like the mansion. Lots of the requisites looked like Resident Evil. It was kind of like fan service. Would have been fun in a better Resident Evil movie. It looked also kind of cheap, which brings us to the, the bad. bad. First one, talked about to death. The diversity. You have established characters through many games in your movie that looks like a Resident Evil world. And then you add these characters that are dressed uh, like the characters but don't look that like them. Wesker, which were correct ethnicity. He looked like a young Barry, Jill Valentine and uh, Leon S. Kennedy. They looked nothing like the original characters. Leon S. Kennedy looked like um, Carlos from the Resident Evil 3. But Ada Wong looked like uh, Ada Wong because she is diverse. But of course they didn't use her. She was a end credits extra scene. When you think about it, it's really weird. Also, the characters are out of character. Leon S. Kennedy annoyed me the most. He was not a incompetent buffoon, which he is in this movie. But of course in modern movies you have to have weak male characters so that the And I, I hear when I'm saying this, this has been said so many times before, it didn't work for me. The next negative is bad directing. Have I ever made a movie? No, no I haven't. This movie felt like a fan film at times, cosplay like. They may have tried to make it a stylized choice, like the original Resident Evil games, B-movie inspired, but it didn't come across like that. The script is not good either, like the Leon character has to be written badly too. Bad directing, but also bad editing. Pacing was wrong, I didn't understand where we were, I was unsure about what was going on. The last complaint I had, I felt there was too much swearing in this movie. Intelligent, properly raised people do not swear a lot. And I know it's because they want to be an edgy teen movie. Stupid people think it's edgy. No, in the games, the characters did swear sometimes and then you really understood that it was a reason for that. Oh, look, Jill said shit. I would give this a bad out of three and I hope you enjoyed this review. Bye bye.